What's going on everybody? The Alva Tech here with another tech video for you. Today we're going to be showing the new consumer preview of Windows 8 running on your iPad. That's right, the iPad can run Windows 8. Well, sort of. So what you're going to need is an app from the App Store called Splashtop HD. Now what this does is it allows you to remotely control a PC or Mac from your iPad. Now I've got the Windows 8 Consumer Preview running on my PC at home and as you can see I have titled one called Windows 8 so you're going to click on Windows 8 or whatever you decide to name it for you. It's going to connect to your computer and voila we have Windows 8. So as you can expect on a tablet Windows 8 is pretty much optimized for tablets so it's let's say I want to watch a video I'm going to click on the video tile the video tile opens and then on the iPad what you're going to do is to scroll without actually having it optimized for scrolling because this is running on a PC you're going to take two fingers and you're going to just swipe just as far as it goes and as of right now this particular app only has horizontal swiping so there is no vertical swiping on here and as always if you want to watch something we'll watch the 10 minute preview of Hugo you just tap on it and we have this uh, it's gonna make me buy or rent it which I don't want to do right now so we'll just go back and one of the things I found kinda tricky with this is because Splashtop basically follows your fingers motions to control the mouse uh, it's kinda hard to get back to the uh, start screen. The start screen, of course, everyone knows that Windows deleted the start button and now they have what they call a hot corner, which is this bottom left corner here. And as you can see, every time I tap it, nothing happens. So if you have this app and you're trying to figure this out, all you got to do is use two fingers, you tap on the screen once until you see these two little uh, right and left mouse icons. And what that does is it allows your iPad to be used more like a trackpad rather than following your every movement of your finger. So you're just going to click and drag all the way to the corner until the hot corner appears. So tap on the hot corner and there you go. And then to turn this feature off so you can use the tiles, just double tap it again. So let's check out the calendar. Uh, this is one of my favorite features of the developer preview. So here is your calendar. Very nice sleek looking calendar. Uh, let's double tap here. Here you can create details for your different events that you have going on throughout the day. So where, uh, let's bring up keyboard. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard on my iPad so I don't have to use the on-screen keyboard. Uh, home. When, we'll just leave that as today. Uh, when, we'll say 7.30. For how long? We'll say 30 minutes. A reminder, 15 minutes before. And... Uh, let's see if, Ooh. okay, this is allowing me to scroll through the different, okay, so I found another, oh, wait a minute, sorry about that guys, I was having some issues trying to figure things out. Uh, to now, so you, so now when you save, you, there's this little save icon up here. You just tap on the icon and it saves it. So there, now I have my event created. Of course, there's no title because I didn't really want to create an event. And actually, I don't know if you can see this, but up here it says syncing. And so now, oh, that was cool. It synced a bunch of different national holidays. And uh, apparently, this event will be synced in the cloud for when you create your Microsoft Office account. Now, a question that I, th I would assume is on uh, people's minds is, uh, the, where's the multitasking feature? How do you do the multitasking feature? Well, Windows has added this little thing on the side. If you go down your home, if you go down to the start, uh, the, I'm sorry, the hot corner, you'll see all your apps running in the background. So this is uh, Microsoft's way of multitasking. Don't know that it's any better or worse than what Apple does with their iPad. I mean, it's a simple, you know, simple. There, there's all your apps and. What not everyone knows that. Uh, I, I actually myself prefer Apple's multitasking uh, features better than than Microsoft. But then again, this is in beta, so who knows what's to come. Uh, let me try the 
mail. I was having issues with this earlier. It wasn't syncing any of my accounts. And it doesn't seem to want to sync any of my accounts now. Screw it, doesn't want to do anything. Okay. Well, that was a fail. Over here, let's look at the Photos app. Uh, this is, I added, I synced my Facebook with it, uh, but you can add pictures from your desktop. You can do uh, your SkyDrive, if you got the SkyDrive. Um, that's counterintuitive, but we'll deal with it for now. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's weird that it goes left to right when I go up or down. That's kind of counterintuitive, but that's probably just splash stop. Splash top, I can't speak. So let's look at the Facebook photos. Uh, here are all of my Facebook photos. Let's go to VidCon. Uh, here's me, Shay Carl, my girlfriend, and Katie Lett. To go back, just tap back button. Uh, there's Nice Peter. There's me with Nice Peter. Uh, me with Mika Kitty. Strawberry 17, Allie Trippy, I Justine, Haley G. Huber, Charles Trippy, <laughs> uh, Nanalu, and uh, Catrific stole my girlfriend's computer. Now, some of you may be wondering well, this is all fine and dandy, but how do I get back to the traditional Windows desktop environment? All you do is you side scroll to wherever you put it, and in my case, I put it here. So, what you're going to do, oh, that's not the right one. Let's get out of there. Mail that does not work. Let's go to the desktop. Why is this doing this to me? I know why. Because my tablet hates me and I keep forgetting to turn off features. Okay, so let's go to the desktop. And boom, you're in the environment of Windows computer. Same exact features as Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. Uh, more so Windows 7. This is what this looks like, and uh, you can, I even installed Google Chrome, because you got to have Google Chrome, and uh, go to my Facebook. So uh, let's check out the store. This is something that I actually really like. Uh, it, it's a little bit, I'm not installing apps. If you guys couldn't tell, I was already messing with this earlier, Evernote. Okay, so here is this store. Uh, I really like this. Um, I actually like this a little more than I do Apple's store. So now, guys, we're in the Microsoft Store. I'm actually, I actually like this a little more than I do Windows App Store. Not this, not because it's necessarily better, but I like these the layout. I like the user interface. I like having certain apps showcased. I like having the big images, per se. Oh, I clicked on something. I shouldn't just start clicking. Bad, Nathan. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, what's really cool is they've got spotlighted apps. So let's say there's an app that's just being downloaded like crazy right now. They'll probably spotlight it. Uh, there's other... Oh, darn it. There's, uh, there's games. If Windows would stop being stupid. Stop it. I want to see your games. Okay, here are the games. Uh, it'll tell you the all it'll show you all the top free apps. Let's see all the top free games. There's only one. Um, which is to me kind of weird that they would make you want to buy games already. Oh, I guess I was wrong. There's some games here I'll say free. So let's check out Carmen San Diego Adventures. To install an app or a game or whatever you do, you just click on the tile that it corresponds to and you'll see a little install button. You click on that and then you'll get this little animation at the top. Uh, depending on what your computer do is doing, it'll it'll tell you right here. See, in installing Carmen San Diego. So let's go to installing Carmen San Diego and it'll, you'll see it's starting to load. Oh, that reminded me of something. Up on the upper left corner is another hot corner, but this one shows you the last app that was open before you went to the store. 
or in my case the store whatever app you may be in so if you just click on the hot corner it'll take you back to the desktop which is where I was at last so theoretically yep if I go to here I go back to the store so that's a that's a pretty cool feature although they didn't really explain that much they didn't explain where you could find the hot corners I kind of had to find them myself so here we've got entertainment uh, we've got something called Fizama jig whatever the hell that is um, photo apps uh, music and video apps books and reference news and weather food and dining shopping travel finance productivity tools security they also have a social network social networking there it is it's called social um, but for those of you who haven't downloaded it yet but have downloaded the developer preview you're gonna notice a really key app missing socialite socialite is not in the consumer preview for some strange reason uh, it was one of the most popular apps I couldn't I couldn't stop hearing about it oh and Carmen San Diego is installed that's another cool feature about the new Windows 8 is it has notifications so very much like iOS actually I'm starting to see how much this is like iOS uh, but at the same time holds its own uniqueness if you want to call it that so let's uh, let's go to let's go check out our new app that we just installed and there it is Carmen San Diego let's check it out How's your Portuguese, detective? We got breaking news from Rio, Brazil this morning. All right, morning. let's. Uh, the Bellini let's statue was stolen a few hours ago from the front of the famous Marac. Let's go back to our home screen. So that was Carmen San Diego, and it, it's really that easy to install your apps. All right, guys. So this has been running Windows 8 on your iPad in a strange sort of way. Uh, but if this gets kind of daunting for you and you don't want to do this anymore, you simply hit the home button on your iPad and you're back. Traditional iPad screen. So this has been Nathan with Alvatech and uh, you've been watching how to run Windows 8 on your iPad. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment telling me what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, go ahead and thumbs up this video and I'll see you next time.